Hello, this is Mr. Price, and this is the video for Year 7, Unit 18, on Introduction to Algebra. Uh, the first set of questions is using algebra to help you with number pyramids, and also checking your understanding of addition and subtraction with positive and negative numbers. And then the second part is about forming algebraic expressions um, to help you to eventually solve them um, in the coming lessons. Let's look at part one for us. Okay. So it's, uh, the number of pyramids work by adding numbers below to get the box above. So 7 plus 3 is 10. And then here, 10 plus a number is 22. So if you do 22, take away 10 to work out that number, you get that, that is 12. Okay, and as you can see, 10 and 12 makes 22. So finally, this box here is something plus 3 gives me 12. So that number must be 12. Take away 3, so 9. Let's look at question two. A uh, very similar thing, but this time with some slightly larger numbers. So again, to work out this box, it's going to be 84 take away 28, which is 53. And in this box is 28 take away 2, so 26. And in this box is 53 take away 26, which is 27. Okay, question three. Now, this time, it's a little bit more difficult because this box is isolated to the boxes around it. And same for this one, and same for this one. So we need an extra clue here. Now, when this happens, you can call the information you'd like to know a letter. So I'm going to call this box A. Okay, so that means this box is 4 plus this number. So 4 plus A. And in this box here will be a plus 12 or 12 plus a, doesn't really matter which way around you have it. I'll call this a plus 12. Okay, if you've got this, that's absolutely fine. Now, because this lesson isn't necessarily about solving algebraic expressions, we're going to keep it as it is. However, if you want a little bit of a bonus, um, see if you can use algebra to help you work out what this value of a is. Okay, and now for question four. This tests your understanding of um, collecting like terms. So if you've got A and you add another A, that's the same as having two lots of it. So this is 2A. Okay, now here this box plus B gives me 4A plus 5B. So clearly I need to have 4As to combine with this to give me the 4A here. So that's going to be 4A. I need to combine with a B to get 5B. So I need four more Bs to get 4B plus B to get 5B. Okay. So this box here will be 2A plus 4A plus 4B. So 2A plus 4A is six lots of A. And then plus 4B, because that doesn't um, simplify with the 6A, because they're not the like terms. And then finally, this box here is 6A plus 4A is 10A. And 4b plus 5b is 9b. And finally, question 5. So this box here, I need to have 3a plus 2b. I've already got 1a, so I need two more a's. So 2a plus a is 3a. And I've got no b's here, so I need to have plus 2b to get my 2b from here. Okay, so here... I've got a half C already. I just need one C, so clearly I need another half C. So the half C plus half C is one C. And now it's just adding up um, parts. So 2A plus 2B plus half C. There's no like terms here, so I'll write it like so. Okay, this box is 3A plus 2B plus 2A plus 2B plus half C. So 3A plus 2A is 6a, 2b plus 2b is 4b, plus my half c, and then here I've got 2a plus 2b plus half c plus c, so that's going to give me 2a plus 2b plus 1 and a half c. And now finally if I add up all these together, 6a plus 2a is 8a, 4b plus 2b is positive 6b, and a half C 
plus one and a half C is two C. And that is finished for question five. Okay, let's go zoom, zoom in a bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, for section two, I'm writing an expression for the perimeter. So really an expression is just what sums would I do um, if I wanted to work out that value, uh, the perimeter, where I've been given um, some variables instead of um, only numbers. Okay, now here, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Your slow and steady method is to know that, okay, well that's going to be a 4, and that's going to be a 2x. So I'm going to add 2x plus 2x to give me 4x, and then 4 plus 4 to give me a positive 8. So you could have had 4x plus 8. You could have also noticed that actually I want two lots of 4 and two lots of 2x. So it's going to be 2x plus 4 then multiplied by 2. So two lots of 2x plus 4. Either of those answers are absolutely good. I would say that possibly this one with the bracket um, requires less um, comp um, calculation. Okay, question two. I've got these lines here which mean they're the same length, so this is also 5y. So this is simply going to be 5y plus 5y plus 2x, so that's going to be 10y plus 2x. Okay, if you wanted, you could have also done two lots of 5y plus 2x, and then two lots of 5y is 10y, but it both gives you the same answer, just a different way of working it out. Just going to focus a bit. There we are. Okay, next question. So here I've got 3a plus 2. These are all the same, and it's a, um, a six sided shape. Okay, so this means I'm going to have six lots of 3a plus 2. So I write that as six bracket 3a plus 2, because that means six times this. Okay, so I've got six lots of those. And if you wanted to, you can expand this out to give you 18a plus 12. Either of those answers are fine. Okay, question four. I've got a parallelogram. So I'm going to have y minus 6 here and 8 minus 2y here. And I can do just like I did for the rectangle. So I have two lots of 8 minus 2y add y minus 6 okay. and inside my bracket I can also collect like terms so it's going to be two lots of an 8 and a negative 6 is going to give me a positive 2 and a negative 2y and a positive y is going to give me negative y so I've got two lots of negative y plus 2 or 2 take away y whichever you want so then, if you wanted to, you can expand out the bracket to give two lots of negative y, negative 2y, plus two lots of 2, 4. Okay, see how the rather complicated looking bracket turns into something quite simple. And finally, the last question, question 5. So, um, here you can use a couple of ways. Uh, we'll do the short and steady method first. So, um, this is 3x plus 4, um, and this side is this bit plus this bit, and that bit there is 5x minus 1. Okay, so to get this side, it's going to be 5x minus 1 plus x plus 5. So, in collecting like terms, 5x plus x is 6x, negative 1 and a positive 5 gives me positive 4. Okay, so now I know this side. Now you could work out this side here. Okay, but actually, if you remember, if I was to take this red side and move it along here, and take this side and move it up to here, I have a rectangle, okay? So really all I need to do is add the two sides together and multiply them by two. So I want two lots of three x plus four 
plus 6x plus 4. So collecting like terms inside the bracket, 3x and 6x is 9x, and positive 4 and positive all is positive 8. If you wanted to, you can expand out the bracket to give you 18x plus 16. And that is finished. As always, see me in class if you need any further help. Thank you.